What's up guys? Today's video we are eating only gourmet fast food items for 24 hours. So obviously whenever you think of gourmet and fast food, those two don't really go together. But I do feel like there's a lot of fast food items out there that are just far more elevated than others. Now this video is going to be a little bit opinion based because something that I think is more on the gourmet side you may not think so, but I do think I have some pretty good items picked out for this video. So the first place that we are going to is Biscuitville, and that is to get their new loaded meatloaf biscuit. This item looks absolutely insane. It looks delicious. Ever since I first saw this item, I have been eyeing it every single day. I'm like, I need to try this in a video. So it says, Biscuitville introduces our juicy meatloaf drizzled in kakalaki and topped with bacon, our new house-made hash brown casserole, fried egg and cheese, all on a fresh baked biscuit. Yep, it's an entire dinner for breakfast plus leftovers. Available in the Carolinas only. So unfortunately, this is is only available in I guess North Carolina and South Carolina but hopefully you guys will still enjoy I don't know seeing me eat it if you guys are in the Carolinas hopefully you can try this out I just I have to try this and if there is a gourmet breakfast fast food item out there it is this for sure. Okay, we're also gonna get their hash brown casserole. This to me also looks like a very gourmet breakfast fast food item. This says, our new homemade hash brown casserole is made from scratch right in our own kitchen and features our crispy hash browns smothered in our tasty sausage gravy and topped with shredded cheese, all baked to a mouth-watering golden brown finish. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go ahead and pop into the Biscuitville drive through and see just how gourmet these items are. Can I have a name? Hi, it's Daisy. Okay, what can I get for you? Could I get the meatloaf, the loaded meatloaf biscuit, please? Okay. And could I also get the hash brown casserole? A side of it. Um, yeah, just a side of it. I'll also do the apple blossom, okay. and uh, that's gonna be it. 16.23. Okay, thank you. I did decide to add the apple blossom last minute because that kind of looked like a gourmet item. I think it's gonna be a little sweet treat following these very savory items, so I'm pretty excited to try that. Morning. Hi, good morning. 16.23. Here you go. Thank you. Do y'all have any hot sauce by yeah. any chance? No. Okay, perfect. Thanks, have a great day. Have a nice day. Alright you guys, we just heard our Biscuitville bag. Oh, I'm so excited about these items. I just can't believe how freaking amazing they look. Also, I feel like I've gotten Biscuitville on my channel so much here lately. I don't know what it is, but Biscuitville has just been really turning up in the fast food world here lately. Okay, let me get parked real quick. And I let this car go. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are now parked. Here is our Biscuitville bag. So let's see what these goodies look like. First thing I'm pulling out, I believe this is the hash brown casserole. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I mean, it kind of looks like mush, not gonna lie, but also that looks pretty daggone delicious. And then we have our loaded meatloaf biscuit. I just cannot wait to try this. I don't know if I've ever told you guys, but actually one of my favorite dishes ever is meatloaf. As a kid, I actually was not a big fan of meatloaf. Like whenever my mom would say that she was making meatloaf for dinner, I would be like, gasp, groan, why I don't want meatloaf. But as I've gotten older, I've just really grown to love meatloaf. Give me the worst meatloaf dish ever because I've had some pretty bad meatloafs and I still like it because that's how much I like the dish. Okay, let's go ahead and unwrap this. Okay, I'm sorry. This looks pretty spectacular. Wow, I cannot wait to bite into that. And then we also have, I got some hot sauce because I thought maybe hot sauce would be good in the hash brown casserole. And then last up, we have the apple blossom. Is that what it was called? Apple blossom? I think so. Stop. Oh my goodness. How amazing does that look? Okay, that looks 10-10. I cannot wait. I kind of want to dig into the hash brown casserole first. I'm gonna take a bite of it without the hot sauce first and then we'll try it with some hot sauce. Okay, wow. Well, super cheesy. You can taste the potatoes. It tastes like super moist, cheesy hash browns. Like wet, but not wet in a gross way. 
It also has a little bit of like a sausage flavor to it. This is amazing. I would actually say yes, 100%. This qualifies as a gourmet fast food item. Okay, so we got some Texas pea. We're gonna squirt some of this in here. I used to put Texas pea on everything and then I kind of got out of the habit, but we are back on the Texas pea kick. Yes, we are. Okay, these are super delicious with the Texas pea. Mm-mm-mm. Man, Biscuitville is really whipping it up in there, let me tell you. <laughs> also, I'm in front of this bagels place. I think it's like a, probably like a locally owned bagel shop. They are popping. Let me tell you, there are so many people going in and out of there. Kind of makes me want to try it. Okay, now let's try. Wow, this thing looks crazy. Moment of truth. Is this good? Is it gourmet? Let's see. Okay, wow. This may be one of the best biscuits I've ever tasted in my entire life. The meatloaf is so good. Actually, wow. Honestly, the meatloaf has a very interesting flavor. Like, it's not sweet at all, but it kind of has a little bit of a, a sweet, savory twang to it. Also, the hash browns really complement it. I mean, they're like falling off the biscuit, so it is a little bit messy to eat, but the hash browns, the egg, the cheese, it just all pairs so nicely. Very savory, delicious, meaty breakfast item. Wowza. Okay, actually, I am so impressed by these. I think on our quest to find gourmet fast food items today, we are starting off very strong. The hash brown casserole, I think I'd give this like an 8 out of 10. This biscuit is a 10 10. Like, like I said, best biscuit I have ever tried in my life. I mean, they really did it with this one. Mm-hmm. Very creative item. All right, you guys, now let's try this apple blossom. Did I give you guys an up close of it? I think I did, because I was pretty mesmerized by it. But there you go again. Kind of looks like one of those treats that you just need to take a, take a big old bite of. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit too unsweet for my liking. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is delicious, but it actually is not that sweet. Mmm. Okay. Once you get to the center... Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Very apple-y. I don't know, it just tastes like an apple fold-over kind of situation, but it's very good. I taste so much apple, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of brown sugar. It has a very subtle hint of sweetness. Once you get to that center, that ooey gooey apple center, wow, she's, she's amazing. I know we kind of got this item on a whim, but I would classify this as a gourmet fast food item. It was, let me actually tell you guys the prices. Okay, so the loaded meatloaf biscuit was $6.69. The hash brown casserole was $3.49. And then this apple blossom was $4.99. All right, you guys, well, that was our first round of gourmet fast food items. Let me know how these look to you. I would definitely recommend if you live near a Biscuitville, at least try out that meatloaf biscuit, because wow, 
stunning okay i will see you guys at our next spot for more gourmet fast food items all right you guys our next gourmet fast food items are at hardy's i know what you're probably thinking daisy girl how does hardy's and gourmet go together well they actually have this frisco burger and i feel like any sort of patty melt is very gourmet whenever you go to a gourmet sub shop or you think about gourmet subs patty melt it's it's up there it is a quarter pound hundred percent angus beef patty topped with crispy bacon melted swiss cheese tomatoes and mayonnaise served on toasted sourdough we are going to get the combo it's served with fries and a beverage are the fries gourmet i don't know i guess not maybe if they had like some truffle on them but i just think a patty melt is super gourmet it's a more elevated fast food item and that toasted sourdough come on sourdough is very much gourmet bread <laughs> okay let's go ahead and pop into the drive through and see how gourmet it really is welcome to hardy's would you like to try a famous star uh no that's okay what can i get started for you can i do a frisco melt would you like this combo medium or large i'll do a, a medium combo all right and what's your drink um do you guys have coke oh yeah i'll do a coke zero please anything else no that's gonna be it all right 11 30 at the window thank okay you. perfect thank you hi how are you doing fine Good, thank you. Awesome, thank you too. All right, you guys, we've secured our Hardee's bag. I am super excited about this. I love me a patty melt, which could be why I think of it as <laughs> a more gourmet fast food item. I don't know. Okay, let's park right here. Is this good lighting? The sun? Ooh, the sun. The sun's kind of intense today. Okay, so here is our Frisco burger. Super excited to unwrap this and see what it looks like. And then we also have our French fries. Oh, these look so good and they're super hot. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I would say these are gourmet fries. <laughs> these are so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're hot. <laughs> The word gourmet is just so hard to use because some places call themselves gourmet, but they're actually not that good. <laughs> okay, let's actually try our Frisco melt now. Oh my gosh, this looks delicious. Wow, look at that. I mean, this looks like something you would get at a gourmet sub shop. I'm sorry, I've been to a lot of gourmet sub shops because they're actually pretty popular in North Carolina. This is on tier with that. I'm not even front, you guys, this is amazing. Oh my goodness. Also, this Coke Zero is absolutely hitting the spot. The more I drink Diet Coke and Coke Zero, the more I crave it. So I'm honestly like, I need to chill out on getting Coke at fast food restaurants. But man, Coke Zero is just so good. Okay, let's pop open our Honey Q sauce. Sauces are definitely gourmet. You always gotta add sauce to your fries and burger. And I would say the Honey Q sauce is more of a gourmet sauce. This sauce is incredible. It's not like your standard rinky dink fast food sauce, okay? Ooh, look at that bite. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Okay, I gotta say, this is absolutely delicious. If you really wanna treat yourself to a patty melt, I would definitely say come to Arby's. We're not at Arby's, we're at Hardee's. <laughs> they sound so similar. Arby's, Hardee's. Yeah, come to Hardee's, cause this is good. I actually really like their Star Burger as well. I think that hearty Star Burger tastes very similar to the Burger King Whopper. Also, there's this woman inside of Hardee's. She's eating all by herself, but she's also drinking a coffee. And she just looks like such a vibe. Like, you know, eating inside of Hardee's on your lunch break by yourself, enjoying a coffee with your lunch. She's vibing right now and she looks like a vibe. And I love that for her. 
All right, you guys, well, that was Hardee's. I think on the gourmet scale, I'd probably give it like a six out of 10. The items were very delicious though. I do think our breakfast was a little bit more on the gourmet side compared to Hardee's, but if you are looking for some more elevated items, I would definitely recommend that. Okay, well, I will see you guys back here for dinner to get more gourmet fast food items. All right, you guys, it's currently dinner time. We have two more places that we are gonna be stopping at and we are currently at Culver's. So every kind of like fancy restaurant in my town one thing that they always include on their menu is a chicken sandwich. Usually it's something along the lines of buttermilk fried crispy chicken sandwich. So Culver's has a spicy crispy chicken sandwich that we're gonna be getting that looks very delicious. It looks very gourmet with its ginormous fluffy bun. It says the spicy crispy chicken sandwich is made with the same premium chicken you know and love, breaded with a four pepper blend of spices for the perfect level of heat. So I decided to go with the spicy version because I feel like spicy is a little bit more gourmet than non-spicy and I actually saw a lot of articles ranking Culver's as the number one chicken sandwich which was pretty interesting because you would think that Chick-fil-a would be ranked to number one which was still high but people love Culver's chicken sandwich I did see a lot of people say though to get it with ranch so I'm gonna get this with ranch and then we're also gonna be getting pretzel bites so these are crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside pretzel bites are the ultimate snacking experience they're served hot with Wisconsin cheddar cheese sauce to me, pretzel bites are very gourmet. Any good restaurant has a pretzel appetizer on their menu, some pub pretzels with beer cheese. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing right now, but we're not getting fancy restaurant pretzels today. We are getting some gourmet fast food pretzels. Okay, let's go ahead and hop into the drive-thru. Thank you for choosing Culver's, I may help you. Can I get a spicy, crispy chicken sandwich combo with pretzel bites? What would you like for a drink? Um, I'll just do a water. A water? And could I get a side of ranch and cheese sauce, please? A ranch and cheese sauce? Yep, and that's gonna be it. Okay, anything else for you? Nope, that's all. All right, your total is gonna be 1334 at 35 in the next window. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, let's take a moment to appreciate the Culver's Christmas decorations. Look at the lights. Oh, so cute. Okay, so I was gonna get ice cream at Culver's because they of course have delicious ice cream, but we're gonna get dessert somewhere else because I do feel like there is one restaurant in particular that has slightly more gourmet ice cream than Culver's. So we're gonna get dessert after this at a different restaurant. Hi, how's it going? Oh, thank you. Oh, I just got one drink. He rang it for two waters. Oh, okay. Uh, that's I mean, fine. You want to keep it, you're more than welcome to. Unless you just don't want it. Um, can you take it back? Yeah, I have Just because. Okay, sorry. Thank no, you. That oh, thank you. Okay, thanks. It's always hard whenever you only have two cup holders. They really need to start putting more than two cup holders in a car because there are multiple people who sit in cars. I think I have more cup holders back there, but you know, people like me who are constantly juggling drinks, it's nice to have multiple. All right, you guys, we secured our Culver's bag. Let's see what we got for our gourmet fast food meal. Okay, so we got our hot cheese. Ooh, that is super hot. We have the spicy crispy chicken sandwich. Oh, this looks... Oh, from first glance, this bun legit looks like a biscuit. Look at that. They got such fluffy buns. I can definitely see why people said to get a side of ranch because this sandwich is very dry looking. It does look very delicious though. The thing with Culver's is they always use the best ingredients. And then the best part of this entire meal, the pretzel bite. I abs- Oh no. The cheese is spilled out in there. My goodness, Culver's, why do you do this to me? That's okay. We'll just go ahead and bite into these. Oh, these are so hot. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Woo! Wow. These are 10-10 amazing. I definitely feel like these pretzel bites are something that you would find at a nice restaurant. Ooh, they're so hot. <laughs> Let's bite into this chicken sandwich. I'm gonna try it without the ranch first and then we'll dig in with the ranch. Here's the sandwich up close. I mean, you get a ginormous piece of chicken, which is usually what happens in nice restaurants when you order a chicken sandwich. Oh, 
Okay. That is really good. Okay, we got some, oh, we got a lot of ranch on this sandwich. Mmm. Okay, the ranch turns it up to a whole new level. See, I would argue that this is better than a fancy restaurant's chicken sandwich. Mmm. I don't know why so many nice restaurants do chicken sandwiches because I feel like they just never do them right. And this is something that Gabe and I have both noticed. The bread always like falls off the chicken and it's just very hard to eat. Nice fancy restaurants do burgers very well, but something about chicken sandwiches, I just feel like you can't beat a fast food chicken sandwich. This one is not spicy. It has like an ever so slight kick to it. The chicken is so juicy though. That is some premium chicken. Mm -hmm. I do gotta say, the only difference between this meal right here, the chicken sandwich and the pretzel bites, and something like this at a nice gourmet restaurant is the plating. If you were to take these pretzel bites, put it in a nice little appetizer dish, take that chicken sandwich, put it on a fancy plate, I mean, you can literally call that gourmet. <laughs> Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Anything can be gourmet if you think that way. Okay, well, Culver's, very good, very gourmet. I would say if you're looking for a more gourmet fast food experience, Culver's is definitely a good place to go. So far, I think in terms of food, I would put Biscuitville first as being the most kind of crafted, gourmet, scratch made, kind of curated by a chef tasting. Then I would do Culver's second and probably Hardy's last, even though Hardy's was still delicious. But we still have one more place to go to get some dessert. Before we do that, I just wanna give you guys a quick update on Mello because in my last video I said he wasn't adjusting well to the new house he has been doing so good just in the last few days he's made so much progress he's way more comfortable in the house he knows his spot he's been like hanging out by himself in the living room even when I'm like in my bedroom whenever I leave and have him there by himself he does great so he's adjusted well. I'm gonna do a house tour very soon. I'm just waiting on a few more things to arrive to kind of get some things in place. There's still gonna be way more to do even after the house tour, but I just want it to be somewhat settled before I do, before I do the house tour. So yeah, that's coming. I'll definitely keep you guys updated if I make a second channel. But yeah, I will see you guys at our last spot. All right, you guys, we are at our final fast food stop. Can you guess where we are to get our gourmet dessert? We are at Dairy Queen. So I feel like out of all fast food restaurants, Dairy Queen has some of the best ice cream, definitely gourmet tasting. I've been to real creameries where they actually have a farm on site. And I think Dairy Queen comes pretty close to that flavor. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna get. We're just gonna pop into the drive-thru and I'm gonna pick out a blizzard. That sounds good. Hello and welcome to Dairy Queen. What can we get started for you? Hi, if you could just give me one second, please. Let us know when you're ready. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead. Can I please get the turtle pecan cluster blizzard? Medium. Um, I'll just do a mini. What else for you? That's gonna be it. Three ninety five. Okay, thank you. Have a great evening. Huh? Thank you, you too. Thank you. All right, you guys, we've secured our blizzard. Let me tell you what, I was so tempted to get the banana split. I have said in a previous video how badly I wanna try Dairy Queen's banana split, and I almost got it, but I was like, dang, trying to take a whole banana split home is going to be so difficult and trying to eat it in the car like I was just a little bit nervous to get it so I decided to go with the what did we get again <laughs> we got the turtle pecan mini blizzard I love turtle ice cream there's one at the grocery store I don't quite remember the name of it but it's like turtle something but yeah there we go let's go ahead and give it a bite Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. that is rich. Oh, this is so good. Guys, let me tell y'all what, I've had the biggest sweet tooth here lately. I've had a sweet tooth for honestly a few months now. I don't know what's caused it. He used to not have a big sweet tooth, but here lately, it's been crazy. And Gabe has a huge sweet tooth, so. 
him and I having a sweet tooth together does not make for a good combination because if one of us has a sweet tooth, the other one gets a sweet tooth and then we like enable each other and we're like, oh yeah, let's go to the grocery store and get something sweet. <laughs> this ice cream is totally hitting the spot right now though. Especially since we had so many salty items today. Ooh, this is fabulous. The pecans in here also give such a nice crunch. Maybe we should do a video where we explore actual gourmet food. <laughs> Not just like gourmet fast food items that I would choose as my gourmet items, but we need to do an actual gourmet foods taste test. That would be kind of fun. All right, you guys, well, this video was honestly so much fun. I hope you all enjoyed seeing me eat only gourmet fast food items for 24 hours. Let me know in the comments, do you agree with my choices or do you disagree? Is there a fast food item out there that you would consider to be far more elevated than other items that I didn't try in this video? What is your gourmet fast food item? But I love you guys so, so much. Thank you all for watching. Please drop a thumbs up down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.